launch vehicle for the Apollo spacecraft will be a 350-foot Saturn rocket that stands taller than the Capitol Dome in Washington. Total horsepower in the first stage is equal to a string of automobiles stretching across America. Space scientists working against the deadline set by the late President Kennedy hope to launch the Saturn and its Apollo spacecraft before the end of the 1960s. rockets, after burning their nine million pounds of thrust, are jettisoned and drop away. Three astronauts will ride the mother ship, called the command module, which circles the Earth in a parking orbit until it reaches a point where it can be fired toward the moon at 25,000 miles an hour. excursion module, nicknamed the landing bug, is freed and turned 180 degrees until it is nose to nose with a command capsule. The 90,000 pound Apollo is on its way. Midway through the flight, calculations are taken and computations are made by the astronauts. The Apollo's course is set. A single engine inside the spacecraft is ignited about 50 miles above the moon, slowing the Apollo and allowing it to go into a lunar orbit. Two of the three astronauts now slip through the opening between the command module and the lunar bug. The third astronaut remains behind to maintain communications with the Earth and the two lunar explorers. After examining the moon's surface for a landing place, the bug breaks away from the Apollo, enters its own orbit, and prepares for its trailblazing descent. As the astronauts near the surface, rockets fire to permit the capsule to hover above its landing spot. When the decision is made to set down, the landing legs are extended and the bug is lowered to its lunar landing place. The exploration team will remain on the moon for seven days, gathering soil and rock samples and checking radiation. When the explorers are ready to leave, the upper portion of the bug is launched, leaving the lower half behind. The vehicle moves up to the orbital path of the Apollo, and the two capsules then rendezvous, just as Gemini's seven and six did. The passengers transfer to the mothership, and all three astronauts prepare for the return trip. The Apollo is accelerated, and its course set for the Earth re-entry path. Near the Earth, the instrument section is jettisoned, and the manned nose of the Apollo is turned to permit the heat-protected side to assume the proper re-entry attitude into the Earth's atmosphere. The Apollo flights of tomorrow will be, then, the legacy of the Gemini flights of today, 